All right, so this video is for all you Chevy Express van owners. So we all know that you want to run bigger wheels and tires on your van. And one thing that can get in the way of that is depending on the wheel offset is this mount right here. So a lot of times when you're churning, your tires will want to rub this. So on this episode of Tips and Tricks, we're going to show you how to get more clearance by cutting this body mount off. These are the tools necessary in order to do that. Really all you're gonna need is a grinding wheel, grinder with a cutoff wheel. We've also got another one with just a sanding disc so that that way we can do some cleanup. A straight edge to give us a nice straight line and a marker to mark our line. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut this off and the way we're gonna cut this off is we're going to essentially make this front mount Mac match the back part of the mount and if you get a look at this you'll notice that the back mount is already cut so kind of silly why they left that front part so big but let's go ahead let's get cutting this off and make it look like the back part of it So really quick, really easy. You can see how much more room that's gonna give you. You see we took two cuts on it, so we took the first cut, you know, just to, let's see. Get that big piece out of there and then went back in. I cut it again just to get it a little bit closer to make it match this back side right there. But now overall that's gonna give you a lot more room when your tire goes to turn here. So the next thing what I would normally do too is I take this piece and you can see I've already bent that in a little bit. So that's gonna give you even more room. So now, if you really wanna help it out and give it a little bit even additional room, the next thing I would do is come in here and trim this. So this one's definitely not as, as crazy of a cut. And all we're gonna do is try to relieve some of this right here. So in order to do that, And you can see I made that cut go almost straight into there. So now when we clean this up, it's gonna almost look like it was all one. So as you can see, that's just going to give you a little bit more on the turning radius. Once your tire's in there, you won't really notice it. Another thing that I will also do sometimes is you have this in here that's kind of flimsy. I'll come in here and even cut this at an angle here. So this one here, this mini fender is going to end up coming off and we're going to end up putting our mini fender on this because as you can see behind me, a lot of this is already taken apart. This is one that's gonna get our four wheel drive conversion. So we'll be running our mini fender on this. But this is something that we like to do on them all just to give it a little bit more room and clean it up. So hope that helps all you guys that whether you're running a two inch leveling spacer, a three inch spindle, or a combination of 
both of those lift kits from Weld Tech Designs that you can do this now and this video will help you in order to cut that to get bigger tires, more clearance in that wheel well. So hope that helps. I'll see you guys next time.